I'm going to show you this right here because uh, parts of South Tampa dealing with some flooded roads. That feels like quite an understatement when you look at that video right there. That's video sent in from a friend of ours, Michael Schumann, a viewer. Uh, this is at Azili and Mantazas. You can see the standing water. This is cars are carefully driving through. And Courtney, you know, it really doesn't take much to be a problem. No, it doesn't. And that's in between, um, just for, for those of you in that area, mm -hmm. in between Henderson and McDill. It's an area that does flood when right. we get a lot of rain, mm -hmm. um, and we know, we know that that rain is is just keep keeping on fall in there uh, yeah. for a lot of our communities. Yeah, so we had the perfect slow-moving cell, and that's basically what happened in this scenario where we have a lot of tropical moisture in our atmosphere, and if that cell moves slowly enough, we have a lot of rain being dumped in one particular area over a period of time. So there is a flood advisory in effect until 545. Let's bring up that graphic, and we'll get to the rest of the forecast, do a little bit of a radar tour here. So, uh, yeah, we have this flood advisory that's for that area that that's all the heaviest of rain within the hour. That rain is letting up. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But be aware that a flood advisory is a little bit different than a flood watch. A flood watch is when we're expecting just rounds of rain throughout the day and we're kind of preparing you for that. A flood advisory is more of, I don't want to call it a spur of the moment thing, but really it's when we have a one little cell that's moving through an area slowly over a certain period of time. That's why you just see this green area that's highlighted. And that's why the time frame is very short. 545 it's going to expire it could even expire earlier than that uh, so here's that cell that was